going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we're going to talk about uh, EDDM. We're going to talk about just pretty much all around starting out things that you would want to get into different ways to promote your business. What's worked for us? What hasn't? Now that ain't to say that it will not work in your area, but we're both kind of in similar areas. So, you know, this is what's worked for us. What hasn't worked for us? Um, we're going to talk about CRM, CPAs, things of that. Uh, just starting out, I mean, the first thing that I did not have, my first actual, the first year in business, I think most people are, are really just trying to see if they can make the money before they try to transfer over from a full-time job. Uh, if they got a, you know, they're working a full-time job, they want to get into lawn care. The first year usually... I don't know very many people that just jumped into it and said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm quitting my job. Usually it was the second year or whatever. Once they found out if the money was, was available in their area, things of that. So the first thing I would definitely recommend is, is if you plan on doing this, the best money I ever spent was with a CPA. They will save you so much, so much money in the long run that it's just totally worth it. Look into getting a CPA quit doing it yourself because even with TurboTax, things of that, that ask you all these questions, these people go to school for this stuff. They are gonna save you so much money in the long run. And then, uh, you know, CRM is, is another big one. Personally, uh, it don't matter what CRM you use, there's so many different ones out there. Uh, you know, we got Jobber, there's Yard Books, there's lawn hop or turf hop there's lawn buddy there's i mean so many out there that each one it's really going to depend on the ease of access for you and things of that with yard book for me it didn't work so well because i have an iphone and the app totally is junk on iphone i've never tried it on android so i can't speak for that but i do know a lot of people that, that use yard book just because it's it's free but when you're when you're trying to simplify things i don't find yard book to be that simple of trying to do a bunch of stuff through an iphone with a site map and you know things of that but uh while we're on the crm side of talking about it let's not forget jobber summit is coming up march the first so uh go check out that i will leave a link down below so you can go and see if this is something that's right for you. And if this is a software before season starts, or maybe you know, you're know you in Florida or somewhere and you never stop, look into it. Just go to the Jobber website, look at what all they can offer and see if it might be right for you. Because uh, with the link down below, you'll be able to save, you know, you'll get a free trial, plus you'll get 20% off your first six months. So. Uh, I will be there at Jobber Summit. Once again, there's two time slots for this. And uh, so you've got a morning time slot and then you've got a, an afternoon time slot as well. So if you click on the link down below, once again, one will be for the Jobber Summit. One link will be for, you know, if you want to try this software out and see if it's right for you. But uh, March the 1st, coming up real quick. So... Hopefully uh, we'll see you there and we can learn something together because, you know, even even being in this business for, for 20 years, I still don't think you would know or learn everything that there is to know or learn. And so uh, <clears throat> let's talk. Let's go into uh, what's worked best for us when it comes to advertising. I know when I first started my company, I had these magnetic signs made for the side of my truck and i'm gonna be honest i personally never got one call off of them things whatsoever um have you ever tried the the signs <coughs> well danny i've done the signs but one of the things i've learned is like you there's no calls from the signs the only advantage i see from the signs is people get used to seeing it you right. Know, they get used to seeing it at your neighbor's yards and things like that. That brand name. Yeah. And then if you do exceptional work, they identify that. And then when they go on to Google, because everybody Googles for everything anymore. Yeah. So when they go on there to Google, and especially if you're up there in that top five, you know, that's the first pe things people look at. Well, 
then when they see your business on Google, then they can kind of identify it with your truck, with the signs and everything. Or if you've got shirts with logos, they start right. identifying it. And it's like a subconscious trigger. Hey, I've seen their work. I know their work. To me, that's the only advantage of really having the sign. Yep. I've tried the, the yard signs. Um, I've tried, uh, the only thing I haven't tried, and I want y'all to let me know down below, what's worked for you in your area? I want to know if EDDM has worked for you. Because I thought about spending the money for EDDM. It's going to cost like $1,000 up front. And then after that, you know, I've got still got to pay the price to get them sent out and things of that. So a little bit more money. Not worried, too worried about the money. I'm worried about the, the return on investment, I guess, uh, with that. Yard signs, I, I've tried. I have gotten some calls off of yard signs. Um, Google has been my number one thing. Yeah. Uh, Google is, is literally, I mean, Google my business, go sign up. I mean, it's 100% free. There's no reason why you should not have a Google business page. Update it, throw pictures on there of properties, weekly, daily, whatever, keep it updated. And, you know, I mean, you'll start seeing yourself move up a little bit at a time, get your clients, ask them to go leave you a review. Um, that's another way to get, get it built up there. Uh, EDDM is my big thing though. Like I really want to try it, but I don't know if I want to spend all that money to wonder what's going to happen, <coughs> which I did on yard signs, but I mean, we're talking 250 bucks compared to 1500, $2,000, um, right from the beginning to see where it was going to lead. The magnets, like I said, did not work for me. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, you, well, you really can't post on Marketplace per se, but the Facebook Swap and Shop groups, I've had tremendous amount of luck with as well. Going into these areas that I'm actually in, like, you know, I do Belt and Ray Moore. There's a Belt and Ray Moore Swap and Shop. There's a Harrisonville Swap and Shop. I'll go into these groups and post you know, my ad on there. And so I've had quite a bit of luck with that. Um, you're going to get calls the beginning of the year. You know, for us, it's going to be around March uh, to mid, you know, mid-March. Phone's going to start ringing. Then once that step phase one there is phased out, your next step's going to be May-ish because these people get these lawn care companies that they, they do not like, do not care for, or, or they just quit on them or quit showing up, whatever the case may be. And then they're looking for somebody else. So you're going to get that, you know, that May, June call because they're looking for somebody. Then there's what I call the phase three, which is after uh, summer, August time, somewhere around in there. Phone starts ringing off the hook again because then you got your your companies that didn't make it through the summer or they made it through the summer, but because it was so hot, their quality went down, whatever the case may be. So they're, they're looking for somebody else. One other thing in that time frame that you'll get a lot of calls for is, you know, people will hire the, the neighbor kids, things like that to mow. And yep, then when they go the back summer. to school, mm -hmm. they need somebody to take over mowing their yard. That's a big time to get calls as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and then uh, you've got the, the leaf season and then you've got, you know, snow and stuff. So <clears throat> to me, there's there, I put everything in phases. That's my way of doing it. I've pretty much figured out when the phone's going to ring, when it's going to slow down and, you know, how to advertise them. I, but the one thing I haven't done is EDDM. So once again, I'd, I'd really like to know EDDM, how's that work for you? Let's go. I'm a strive for the great, yep. knock with the bass. Yep. I got the echo locked in your face. Ooh. If you want to battle, this is not that place. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube live, yep. where I thrive. Yep. See me on the tour, watch the grass fly by. Some think that I'm cocky, DeWalt to Milwaukee. It really don't matter, because y'all can get off me. If you like the video, sub, then hit a play.